Hi friends, welcome once again. So today's video is, and it's a beautiful title. It says, Hum Bade Ho Gai. So friends, before we go ahead and watch this video, yes, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. And yes, friends, after watching this, if you like it, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. So, okay, friends, let's go ahead and watch this beautiful video. Hum bade ho gai. Hum bade ho gai. Muskurahat tabassum hasi pehpeh. Sab ke sab ho gai. Hum bade ho gai. Zimidari musalsal nebhate rahe. बोझ औरों का खुद ही उठाते रहे अपना दुख सोच कर रोए तन्हाई में महफलों में मगर मुस्कुराते रहे कितने लोगों से अब मुख्तलिफ हो गए हम बड़े हो गए और कितनी मुसाफत है बाकी अभी जिंदगी की हरारत है बाकी अभी वो जो हमसे बड़े हैं सलामत रहे उन सभी की जरूरत है बाकी अभी जो थपक कर सुलाते थे खुद सो गए हम बड़े हो गए खत्म होने को अब जिंदगानी हुई जाने कब आई और कब जवानी हुई देखते देखते क्या से क्या हो गए जो हकीकत थी अब वो कहानी हुई मंजिलें मिल गईं हम सफर खो गए हम बड़े हो गए So friends, what a beautiful poem and so true to life. Uh, I mean, we are not at that stage, but definitely at one point in life, we will be in that stage and we will be thinking the same things because as you grow older, just like he said, hum bade ho gai, as we grow older, we lose our loved ones and uh, those who were taking care of us who brought us into this world are no more and then you know we are also going to go through that same phase of life all the close relationships slowly you know all those loved ones of your age slowly and slowly your friends and your you know loved ones will be going away and eventually we will also go away so life this is he's beautifully explained the life that you know one goes through you at one stage i think we are at a stage where we are doing our duties have a kid and as a parent we are doing our you know duties towards him or her so he said at that stage he he's past that stage he has a, he, the kids are old now and they are now settled they are you know in their own life busy so he is at a stage where he did all his duties and i mean he beautifully explains every aspect and now he's the parents because he's old the parents are no more those who used to you know help him in sleep and he's beautifully explained jo thap thap aake sulate the wo nahi rahe wo wo chale gaye to i mean totally totally you one relates to this and that's the truth of life and it really touches one's heart when you listen to it when i was listening it listening to this uh, poem i was having you know slight tears in my eyes because of such beautiful expressions and the way he spoke it beautiful 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 poem no right, it's a very beautiful poem and it says uh, poet is unknown and so somebody must have written it uh, when they were probably sad i mean one the beauty of this is that when people are sad they think about uh, life and death usually when people are happy Uh, i'm just saying the word usually usually when people are happy they forget about uh, other death and they are 
they start believing that this is a permanent life and they are happy and they are having a great time. It is only in the times of sadness that a person starts to think about, uh, you know, someday that they are going to die. So in many places, uh, uh, you know, Bhagavad Gita also mentions similar concept that uh, you should think about this. You should think about the fact that life is temporary. So anything that we do should be done with that knowledge. That's why, uh, you know, they call it illusion. It's an illusion. And many times human beings are under the illusion that this is a permanent thing. And those who do not have the uh, illusion, they call it the, you know, like the veil of illusion or in Hindi, the chadar of illusion. So they say when you remove that, then you realize this is a temporary. So if you somebody tells you life is temporary, then obviously you would live your life differently. You will not be into uh, collecting all the material things that you cannot take with yourself. You will live in the present and not uh, worry too much about the future or the past because this is all you have, the present. And this was beautiful telling that, you know, the cycle is going on. And that's what we believe in the cycle of life and death. And of course, when you become big, you become elder, then what happens? The people that were elder than you, they are gone. And now you are elder and you wonder, hey, I don't remember when was I a kid or when was I young? I don't remember the time, right? I just see myself now. And that is true because a human brain can only remember so much, only the important parts you can remember. For example, many people will say, okay, do I remember when I was one year old, two year old? Nobody remembers that. Do I even remember which elementary school I had gone? Many people remember that. And where I used to live, if you have changed many uh, you know, towns, you'll say, I don't remember where I was in fourth grade or uh, what I did. It's only certain good and bad things you remember. Maybe somebody uh, did, I, I remember some bad things about my life and remember some good things about life. That's all I have. Most of the things I've forgotten. So that is what it is. So that is the beauty of the human brain that many people who go through trauma, it helps them also because after a certain time, they kind of start forgetting all those bad things that happened to them. And that is a healing process. So it is very good that a human being today only remembers so much. I only remember some parts. Yes, you can look at the pictures. You can look at the end of the day. The memories, only the key memories of the brain things are important for you. Those are retained. And that's what And everybody who is advanced in the knowledge of spiritual knowledge would have always thought about, you know, how they want to leave this earth and what is more important to them in life and how they want to live. And this poem is the same thing. Any time, I mean, that person that has written very beautifully, I think he is at the time old and he's thinking about all the things and saying, okay, and he and he's using very good Urdu to write that uh, a poem. And uh, so very nice uh, video. And, uh, and, you know, and due to this, right, I mean, essentially, it is my habit every day to, you know, do some uh, puja or something, which is like, you know, uh, maybe you can read uh, Bhagavad Gita or some kind of puja or have some contact with God every day. Because as I say, right, people who only remember God when they need something that is bad. But what about somebody who remembers God all the time? So that is even perfect. So every day and and many times when you have seen the videos, you would have seen, you know, uh, places where we have put Lord Ganesha. If you go to our things, you'll see. So in every room, we have one God somewhere or the other, the Murthy or the idol of the God. Every room we have, you look this side, you'll see God. You look this side, you'll see God. So you cannot escape the, you know, idol of God anywhere in our home. And that is just reminds us to be good all the time and reminds us that we are temporary. So we live with a different concept in life, which is to refine ourselves rather than uh, capturing the material things. So beautiful, uh, you know, video, it, it reminds you of what is important in life and um, gives a lot of happiness um, when you look at these uh, videos. And, the, and many things in life are done by anonymous people. Why? Because it comes from the concept of uh, selfless karma. 
and they are doing good but they don't want you to know who did it because they are doing it selflessly because they do not want anything in return that is the pure definition of selfless karma many people say what is selfless karma well any karma that you do without expecting anything in return is selfless karma and we have given many examples of how people are doing the selfless karma in similar way he created a beautiful poem he did not put his name in it it was selfless because he doesn't want any recognition he doesn't want anything in return and many people over here say hey i i can like nowadays it's snowing pretty heavily in this part of the country and then people say hey i i can shovel your uh i can take out the snow out of your uh, garage drive and in. drive in stuff but i will not take anything in return they said there's only one condition and that condition is i'm not going to take anything in return are you okay with it and so that is the beauty of how people are doing selfless karma so fantastic video yes friends beautiful video it does tell us you know what life is about and makes you think so i hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful poem and we'll come back again with another video very soon till then take care and bye bye oh and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when i put in my new video for you to enjoy bye